This morning in Health Watch, doctors prescribing placebos. The first nationwide survey out today says about 50% of doctors regularly prescribe them. It's your boy Papa Doug. Listen, I've been wanting to get on this here for a minute. This topic here we talking about today, we finna motherfuck. I'm finna fuck y'all head up with this one here. I need y'all pay me close attention. Today we're gonna talk about the placebo effect. Some of y'all may have heard of it. Some of y'all may have not heard of it. But listen, what the placebo effect is? It's the belief. You are a walking pharmacy. You can heal yourself. You do not need no medicine. And I'm finna tell you how and why. Me, I haven't had a cold or a fever in years. And I'm gonna tell you why. See, a lot of y'all, y'all go to coughing, you get a little chill, you go to holler about, oh, I'm sick, I'm sick. No, you're not. You ain't sick. You telling yourself you sick. Your body don't even know what the word sick mean, bro. Your mind know what it mean because you've been told that when you're sick, this is what happens and this is what you do. So your body just follows suit. Your body is an instrument of your mind. Your body follow that emotion. Now, I'm going to give you another example. When you go for an AIDS test, before you went in that motherfucker, you had all your hair, you weren't losing weight. Soon as you go on that bitch, God forbid this happened, but they tell you, hey man, your test came by positive. That's when you start getting sick. They has just activated that belief that you're going to die and you believe this shit. And this is what makes you sick. They have studies and people have sued because they've forgotten the wrong motherfucking results. And when you see them people, you would think they sick for real. No, we gave you the wrong results, but you look like you sick because you activated that belief that, hey, you're going to die, so you start being sick. You get what I'm saying? Another thing, this is what doctors do. Doctors will give you fake medicine. They will give you what they call sugar pills. Tell you, because this is how you got to do. They activate that belief. Hey, this is going to make you well. Just take this. Take your couple, you know, go, go to sleep. When you get home, rest up. Well, really, you healed yourself. They just gave you a motherfucking sugar pill. For some time, I have been interested in the placebo effect. Uh, something fake is believed in enough by somebody that it becomes something real. In other words, sugar pills have a measurable effect in certain kinds of studies, uh, the placebo effect, just because the person thinks that what's happening to them is a pharmaceutical or a um, some sort of a, uh, for pain management, for example. If they believe it enough, there's a measurable effect in the body called the placebo effect. Something fake becomes something real because of someone's perception of it. Now, studies have shown this for years and years, and they still studying this shit. But they're not going to come out and tell you that, hey, man, you can heal yourself. Yeah, that's basically what it is. They've done tests where 50 people they gave real medicine to and 50 people they gave sugar pills to. The ones that they gave the sugar pills to healed quicker than the ones they actually gave the medicine to. Facts. Studies of placebo pills show that taking more is better. Two sugar pills relieve more pain than one. Two pills provide more sedation than one. And two sugar pills heal stomach ulcers more quickly than one. Sugar pills. Research shows that if you take a placebo pill and put a brand name on it, it works better than the exact same pill without the brand name printed on it. Did you hear what the fuck this man just said? Basically what he's saying is it's the same sugar pill, but just because they put a brand name on it, it worked better because it tricked you to make you think that it was a better pill, but actually it was the same pill. That's equivalent to saying that this radio is worth $900 only because it has the word Sony wrote on it. And by saying Sony, you believe that it's really worth $900. Back to the motherfucking program. Studies show that patients who don't skip doses of their placebo medication for cholesterol reduction survive longer than those who do skip doses of their placebo medication. Finally, research shows that taking placebos has been associated with measurements of increased endorphins, which are our body's natural pain relievers. Believing the pill works gets the brain to do the job for us. This is why when you went like kindergarten, they have, to t they have to teach you smell, taste. They have to teach you these words that like I told y'all, words are spells. Words gonna trigger the emotions in you. He who controls the perception controls the action. If I taught you that being sick is this, and when you're sick, you act like this and look like this, now you control. I'm telling you what this shit mean. But had I never told you, because I can say the word sick in Creole, you wouldn't know what the fuck I'm saying. 
Because you can't identify that word with nothing. But you can identify the word car with an object. You can identify the word door with an object. So why the door can be a car and the car can be a door? You never thought about that? Like, why we got to say, well, how the fuck that's a car? Why it can't be tire? Or why it can't be road? So I'm going to ask you this. You think your arm is an arm? Fuck no, your arm ain't no motherfucking arm. That's why you got to open your motherfucking mind. I'm trying to get you to think, bro. Ain't nothing crazy about you. You just ain't been thinking. Or you have thought of this shit and thought you was crazy. But like I tell y'all, the ones in the movies that everybody thought were crazy at the end turned out to be the smartest motherfucker. I can feed you with an idea that this pill that we just got from the pharmaceutical company, it's the greatest, best thing for your issue. And I give you this pill and you get better. And then later you find out it was a sugar pill and everybody goes, yeah, that's called the placebo effect. And I go, what does it really mean? I said, you didn't get healed by the pill. You got healed by the belief in the pill. And I go, well, yeah, that, that's what placebo is all about. And at least one third, minimum of one third of all medical intervention is uh, it's the placebo effect that where the healing comes from. That's a result of positive thinking. W what about negative thinking? Uh, and this is what we don't talk about, but the reality is it's equally powerful in regard to affecting your biology as is positive thinking, but it works in the opposite direction. A negative thought is called the nocebo effect, can cause any disease and, and you can die. If you believe you're going to die, you can die from the belief. If you go into the doctor, just ask your doctor what is the placebo effect. That motherfucker know. But they're not going to tell you because if they told you that, hey, man, we just give y'all this shit because in your mind you think that you hurting, but you really can heal yourself. They can't monetize that. I told y'all the shit boils back to money, control, religion. And you're going to understand that anything these motherfuckers take and make a business out of, that's what they're going to do. The idea was to treat people in great pain. Volunteers with severe knee arthritis were gathered from around the state and divided into groups. Two groups would have a surgical procedure. The third would be given a placebo, fake surgery. They'd have a general anesthetic, be opened up, but wouldn't have any real procedure. They would merely think they had. I would play a videotape on the TV of a real surgery. And while I was watching the TV, I would ask for instruments and pass things back and forth and carry on conversation as if it was what I would really have done if what was happening on the TV screen was actually going on during that surgery. So we would have water splashing, we would have instruments clanking, and we would do this for the same amount of time that the actual surgery on the videotape took place so that uh, a patient and their family couldn't watch the clock and say, oh, we were only in the operating room for 10 minutes, so it must have been a pretend surgery. And one time, I remember I, um, I shot myself in the hand one time, and the shit didn't hurt until I saw that blood. It's the same exact thing. It's equivalent to that. Once that the belief is activated that, hey, something is wrong or something is your body follows suit with that. So I need y'all to pay close attention to that. Your mind is way more powerful than you have any idea of right now. Stop being a human for one second, bro. Stop being brainwashed for one second, bro. But like I say, man, y'all check these videos out. In the big picture, always in the back of my mind, I was thinking, good gosh, uh, here's a patient who we're pretending to do surgery on. We're not really doing surgery. And, you know, I, I'm a, a, a physician and a healer after all. And is this kind of really, you know, the right thing to do? Finally, it was time for Dr. Mosley to hear the truth from the patients themselves. I would say, uh, if you think that the surgery helped your knee, I want you to give me a thumbs up. If you think the surgery didn't help your knee, I want you to give me a thumbs down. And if you're not sure or you're, you're kind of neutral, just hold your hand flat. The response ranged from, you've got to be kidding me, I can't believe it, bewilderment, there must be a mistake, because they all felt so strongly that something had happened to change what was going on inside their knee. There are clearly cases where we do surgeries and it's uh, as much or more the patient's feeling about the surgery that influences the result as the actual surgery itself. And what would you say it was that really cured you? Was it Dr. Mosley or was it you and your mind? 
I got to credit Dr. Mosley for doing what he did. But it was my mind that cured the problem. I just want y'all to share this shit. And I want y'all to understand that we're going to keep on keeping on with this shit. I'm going to keep putting this gangster shit out. This Fuck all this Takashi 6 9 shit. I know y'all tired of that shit. We're going to put some real shit out. All I need y'all to do is share this shit, man. That's all I need y'all to do. I salute everybody that been leaving comments and all that good shit. I'm, I'm working on music. We're finna drop some real shit. Putting it all out there. But listen, placebo effect, man. Y'all look this shit up. And um, like I say, man, any words, anything y'all want to ask me, man, y'all hit me up.